Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It is good to see you again. Maddie and I made it back from the horse show, which is fantastic because I was ready to be home. Today, my plan was to stretch a few ropes in preparation for this weekend's roping and to ride blue, but there's a bunch of dark clouds moving this way and I think the rain is gonna beat me to that. So I've got these three ropes, which NRS was so generous enough to send to me. Uh, if you have not checked out that video, it's gonna be posted you know, somewhere up there. We've got a roping that we're gonna go to this weekend and I think what I'm gonna do is solely rope with these three ropes. As you know, I love the C4 and I use it almost exclusively other than a few times where I use the Thrilla and a few other ropes. But I think of the jackpot that I'm gonna go to this weekend, I am going to use these three ropes solely for that roping just to kind of see how I like them and give you guys a little bit of insight to these ropes. One of my best videos that has ever aired on this channel is about how to break in a team roping rope. So you already know how to do that if you've seen that video. If you have not, uh, once again, I'll put it up there. This video is going to be more about what I do after I break in my ropes, why I do it, and uh, maybe that'll help you out in the future. Also, before we get too heavy into this video, I want to let you know that we got a new shipment of hats in and they are the black. Look how sweet these are. So these blue hats sold out. Thank you everybody who bought one. I think this is a much more popular color because you can wear it with more. So I have 10 of these in stock right now. I'll put the Etsy link below. You can shop, you can ship, all that sort of good stuff. So I've got 10 in stock right now. If we sell out pretty quickly, I'll just go ahead and reorder another 10 or 20 uh, depending on demand. So if you want one of these hats, make sure to go to the description below and get you one. I will say that out of these three ropes so far, my favorite looking like aesthetically is definitely the Helix. It's got the coolest color to me, this little uh, teal or, or light blue. Then you've got, uh, which one is this? This is the Thunderbird. Uh, this one's also a cool color. And then I think my least favorite as far as color is gonna go to the Cure. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's not gonna rope well. I'm just saying as far as looks go, yeah, I think, I think the Helix has got it done. First thing that I do obviously is take them all out of the wrapper. And uh, I am very particular about how I do this. Um, I just think if you do it wrong, you set yourself up for, you set yourself up for failure and uh, you set yourself up for having uh, some backswing in it. You set yourself up for uh, the longevity to suffer a little bit. So I am pretty particular about this and uh, I don't, I do not, I do not rush this process. So, so I'm gonna show you guys how to break these in once again, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you what I do after we break these in. One thing that I like to do before I even stretch it is like, you see how when it came out of the packaging, it just had like a little bit of a kink in it. I try to get out as many of those little kinks or, or blemishes as I can. Um, I do that before and after I stretch it, so. Now, you always place it with the Honda up. You don't put it this way. Put it this way. When it comes to post stretching, I coil these up a lot bigger than the coils that they come in the packaging. Let me show you. This is what it comes like in the ties, and then this is what I coil it up to season it. Now, after this very important step is done, I like to place them in a flat area. For now, it's gonna have to be the truck bed while I get these other two, and then I'll take them to the house. But I obviously coil them up a lot bigger, but then I also lay them flat, right? So you want to lay it flat. And I always put the knot of the Honda 
on top, right? Just like it should be when you're roping, that's how it lays. So this always lays on top. It's never underneath like this. Always lay it on top. And I also like to make sure that all of the coils are generally the same size. You don't wanna have a bunch of big coils and then one of them be smaller in there. You want everything to be kind of uniformed. All right, we've got two more to go. Let's get these knocked out. Yeah, cause the rain's coming and uh, these ponies are hungry. And as you'll notice, I always coil it from top backwards, right? That way, if there is a backswing or a kink or something like that, uh, it goes back towards the back side of the rope versus going towards the side that you actually need to catch with. So that's kind of how I do that. Give her one more check, make sure everything is nice and even. This one's good to go. Three ropes, nice and broken in. Looking good. Look how uniform that looks. Now, as important as it is to get a good break in of your rope, equally as important is how you condition a rope, and that's where this next step comes in. Now the last little step in this whole process is to put these ropes in an area that is air conditioned and won't be disturbed for a few days. For me, that is underneath the guest bedroom bed. It's uh, the most undisturbed area and it's where the dogs can't really get to it. And just like I did last time, I lay them exact same way in the big coils. I lay them nice and flat and then uh, make one little adjustment. I just slide them underneath the bed. Well, there you have it. A simple way to make your ropes feel better and last a lot longer. Now on this channel and in this video, I'm not gonna get too technical behind why I do this or why it makes the rope feel better. But when you get a rope that is brand new out of the ties, it doesn't always feel good. And when you stretch that rope, you're actually kind of breaking down those fibers a little bit. When you allow those fibers to regain shape and regain form, it's gonna feel so much better and this rope is gonna last you a long, long time. So